Hey guys, what's going on? It's this kid and I just wanted to go over four mounts that are going to be pretty easy and straightforward to get at the start of Dragonflight. Now these four mounts are going to be the otters that are locked behind the Ascara Tuscar Renown system. As far as the renown required for them, at level 25 you're going to unlock the scouting otters and at level 30 you're going to unlock the war otters. And for anyone that isn't aware at this point, renown is going to be pretty synonymous with reputation. Every 2500 reputation you get, you get one point of Renown, and Renown is going to be available for four different factions at this point. Every one point of Renown that you get with a specific faction, you're going to unlock specific things you can do in the game. So getting Renown and going through all this stuff is going to be very, very important throughout the expansion. And just to provide examples of some of the things you can get from Renown, you can unlock world events, you can unlock fishing spots, you can unlock cosmetic items, you can unlock mounts like we're going to get here. Now as far as the mounts go, once you get to that 25 or 30 renown level, whatever the case may be, you're going to go to the western part of Azure Span, you're going to go to Iskara, which is basically just an ice island or an iceberg, whatever you want to call it, and you go to the back here by this dock, and you're going to talk to the stable master named Tato. Now once you talk to Tato, he's going to be selling these mounts for three specific things. The war mounts are going to require a little bit more of those things and the scouting mounts are going to be a little bit less, but the three materials are going to be Mastodon Tusks, Aquatic Maws, and Dragon Isle Supplies. The scouting mounts are going to need two Mastodon Tusks, two Aquatic Maws, and 750 Supplies. The war mounts are going to need five Mastodon Tusks, five Aquatic Maws, and 1,000 Dragon Isle Supplies. Now as far as where to get these materials, the Mastodon Tusks are going to be found on pretty much every Mammoth in Dragonflight. It's going to be a very small chance, but every Mammoth will have a chance to drop it. And the Aquatic Maws, same kind of thing, but they're going to be from fish. As long as it's not a critter, you can kill the fish and they should have a chance to drop the Aquatic Maw. For those, you can even just go to the water right outside Ascara and start killing the minnows there. I got one probably in about 5 or 6 kills, but it took me a long time to get the one after that. I think it really just depends on your luck. It's probably a little bit under 5 to 3% of a drop chance. And as far as Dragon Isle supplies, the last thing you're going to need for these mounts, they're basically going to be the same as garrison resources. You're going to get them from quests, world quests, doing dungeons, killing rares, getting treasure chests, anything in the game basically that you do, you're going to be getting these Dragon Isle supplies. So I really wouldn't worry about these, just worry about the other two materials that you're going to need for these mounts. But that's about it for these four mounts. They're pretty easy, pretty straightforward, but I'm going to pretty much make a video for each new mount in Dragonflight. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and have a good rest of the day. Thank you.